All good. You can go back to the game now. I hope so. Okay, yeah, login successful. We're finna be pausing all night with this game. Okay, look. A cool vampire like you shouldn't be bumping and bumping it into the dump. Taking over someone's house is as easy as giving them a little buy. But silly vampire rules dictate you to need to get invited inside first. This kind of sound like demons and in, uh, in, in Jesus name. I do not like that. But like this is a video game simply. Um, dress to impress and use your wicked wit to win that uh, invitation. But tread carefully. The local neighborhood watches on parole with eyes sharper than wooden steak. I feel like there should be an S at the end of that. I mean, I know it's a single stake and I get it, but like that, that sentence just kind of ended like abruptly. Abruptly. So, it, um, drop costume. I right clicked, y'all. If this dude got his, his buns out right then when I right clicked, I would have been so pissed off. Okay, look. 31 bodies. You see it? You see it up there by the chat? There's 31 bodies in order for me to get them all. I need to get them all and win the game, bro. Let me wear red hoodie and jeans. Oh, I'm kind of swaggy. Put that beanie on. Look at me, y'all. Look at me, y'all. It's time to cook. It's time to cook. Maybe there's going to be special items behind my house. Do y'all ever think about that? Like, like, damn, there's always going to be an Easter egg uh, behind the house because nobody ever starts the game and goes backwards. I'm in a game. I'm in a game. But I do. Okay? But I do. Um, um, Brit, Brit, thank you so much for the four months. I appreciate you. I thought you lived in a dump. Oh, shit. I just hit shift. Right? You know what's crazy about this? I'm not even mad about this setup. I'm mad there's no bathroom. I'm also mad that there's a big-ass TV remote with zero TV in my uh, house. I don't really know what's going on with that. But one thing I fuck with, the espresso machine. The espresso machine. It's kind of swaggy. All right, y'all. The first house. I'm going to start on the right side. Ooh. Where did my fit go? Oh, it disappears. Is that it on the ground? Nah, bro. I want a construction worker's fit instead. I want that. Look at me, y'all. We're a traffic cone. Oh, nobody gonna take me serious with that one. All right, y'all. What's my alibi? What's my alibi? <clears throat> um, I'm 24. Um, I'm a construction worker, and um, I love balds. All right. I love balds. Love, 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 love. He said, "Yo, yo, what's good, fam? Okay, so he's young and hip." We we know our we know our um audience. Let's 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 adapt. Uh, what's good, fam? What you doing, knocking on my door so late? Like, got some fire beats you wanna drop? Yo, what's good, man? My name is Ico Beats. I'm a producer, and yeah, I actually got a mixtape for you. You trying to listen to it? I see those headphones. Those are really cool. Oh uh, no. Man. My name's not spelled like that. I'm a little pissed. I go down respect, dude. I'm always down to check out some fresh beats. Let me hear what you got, man. But just a heads up, I got a high standard, so bring your A minus game? Or is he saying A game? Bro, I'm about to be your new favorite producer. You could put that on God. Um, I'm standing on business. Cause cause he's young. <laughs> We got our first customer. He said, all right, Ico Beats, you got my attention. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> Bro said, nah, sorry, fam, I can't. What did he say about my beats? Someone said you chalked. 
Bro, I didn't chalk, bro. I don't even think I can chalk. I don't even know what that means. He in there screaming, bro. Damn. I hit shift because I wanted to sprint after him. Bro, go away. Is that me screaming like that? Because you're chonies? Oh, bro, we got to get a fit on, bro. ASAP. We got to get a fit on ASAP, bro. Look at me. Now I'm an Amazon Prime worker. That is me screaming like that? I gotta breathe, bro. <clears throat> New customer. Bro, stop. Oh, hello there, young one. What brings you to my humble abode? <clears throat> Here we go. Watch me cook. Hey there, Grandma. Might I say, might I say that your hair's looking very nice? Um... I have a, a, a package that I came to deliver for you. Can he stop? Have you ever gone? I want to hear you over now. I you about the Stop talking. Hold on. Well, isn't that sweet? Well, isn't that sweet of you, dear? Come on in and let's see what you got for me. Don't mind the clutter. Just follow me into the living room. Don't mind. Oh, I don't mind about clutter. It's okay. And it's a late hour, so it's n it's not too much of a problem. I'll make my way into the house now. There's a change of plans. I changed my mind and it's bit. I'm tight. I think it would be best if you left the pet. I'm rebooting the game, bro. My guy's glitched. My guy's glitched, bro. I'm, I'm, I was glitched out. I was glitched out. And I couldn't handle it, bro. He was, he was making me stressed. And that was translating into the, ga into the game, y'all. It was translating into the game, y'all. Now I think you guys are going to think I'm cheating. So I'm going to go to this, this nice house with the motorcycle. You think if I put on the helmet, he'd get pissed because I'm wearing his, uh, wearing his helmet? I think so. All right, let's cook. <laughs> Businessman, crypto enthusiast, what brings you to my humble abode at this hour? Bitcoin to the moon. Bitcoin? I love uh, cryptocurrency. My favorite is Dogecoin. Do you know who Elon Musk is? Also, maybe we could talk more inside. Oh, Dogecoin, huh? Well, Elon Musk is definitely a prominent figure in the crypto space, but I'm afraid I can't invite you to now. Trust levels are a bit... Oh, my God! Y'all, I was trying to relate. I figure if I bring Dogecoin to the table, I figure um, that maybe um, he would see that, like, I'm not stealing his... Bi oh, damn, I right-clicked. Maybe um, he would see that I'm not trying to steal his business, but that we could, like, collab on something. I'm getting cooked out here, y'all. I'm 0-3. I'm 0-3. All right, this is a nice little family house. We got some plants. Here's where I cook. Please be a mom. Who the fuck? Hmm. Well, not that bad, but... Hey, dude, was cracking. Need help finding the nearest skate park? Watch me cook. Hey, bro. Yeah, I'm new to the town. I was actually looking for a new skate park. Um, Do you know where one's at? I do Oh, yeah, you're in luck. There's a sick skate park a few blocks away. I can give you directions if you want, but gotta warn you. The parks can... Uh, <clears throat> All right, here we go. Yeah, let me read the whole sentence. He said, I could give you the directions if you want, but you got. I gotta warn you. The park can get pretty crowded sometimes. Okay, okay, let's think and assess. Sweet, bro. Sounds solid. I don't mind if it's too crowded. I could use uh, some new friends since I'm new to the city as well. Right on, dude. Making new friends is always rad. Hey, speaking of new friends, I've been growing some pretty gnarly pants in the back. Are you into gardening, true? Gardening? Yeah, I definitely do have a green thumb myself. I would love to learn a thing or two if you could uh, teach me. Wow! Swing by my... Wait, 
I'd be stoked to show you my garden swing by my place. It's the one with the big sunflower. What? <laughs> oh yeah you getting damn am i smooching bro don't care caught our first body caught our first body let me get this purple hoodie and the bucket hat oh i'm swaggy this fit kind of dirty though this is the new fit y'all this is the new fit y'all you said from the back come on come on man Come on, man. Come on, man. Not too much. I got. I gotta. I gotta work. Like, I gotta work around. I can't just go. Oh, is that the cops? Oh, there's two cops. Oh, we're going right here. G wagon. Yep, we got it. <clears throat> Let's cook. Oh, shit. Right, huh? Hey there, my happy little courier. What brings you around? What's a courier? Oh, he's a golfer. Watch me cook. Hey, how's it going, man? I'm new to the town, and I was actually wondering if you knew some places that I can um, put on the green. Thoughts? <laughs> well, lucky for you, ain't you a curious one? Lucky for you, I know all the spots, but before I spill the beans, you gotta earn some trust with me. Show me what you got, and maybe I... Pause? Maybe I'll consider sharing? What's a good score in golf, y'all? What's a good score in golf, y'all? When, like, you do really well. Like, I, 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 under par? I'm usually under par? That sounds like I'm getting cooked. Eagle? 25 on how many holes? 25 on how many holes? I usually go two under par. I need more substance. Love is tennis, fam? Bro, he definitely not playing tennis. I know you see those golf clubs on his back. Birdie, 18, tell him you go hole in one. <laughs> tell him you got a hole in one. Pause, Sadie. I'd be more than happy to show you my skills on the greens. I typically am a hole in one type of guy. Sometimes I get eagle though. <laughs> I go eagle is crazy. Hole in one, huh? You ain't messing around like your style. Tell me what you tell you what. I'll give you a chance to prove yourself. Meet me at the local golf course tomorrow. If you impress me, I'll spill the beans on the best greens in town. Don't be late. Got it? Awesome. Sounds like a cool deal. I can't wait to play golf with a new friend. Uh -huh. Woo! You're getting cut tonight. <laughs> hey Siri, play "Grind on Me" by Pretty Ricky. I like this fit, but I'm gonna wear this. Now I'm a golfer, bro. I'm smooth with it. Okay, look, cops over there, cops over there. Wear pepper spray. What did that say? I don't even think I could use pepper spray, so, like, I'm for sure not going to wear it. Ooh, two out of 31, we're cooking. I know you saw the cop. I know you saw the cop. Bro, this one time I was in high school. Like, duh, everyone was. Um... And, like, the, the cops came to our school, and we were in um, P.E., and we were all sitting there for P.E., and I remember, like, I was like, dude, the cops are here. And there was this one guy in my P.E. class, and he was like, what are the pigs doing here? And I'm like, oh, brother. Run it. Oh, yeah, this is my specialty. Carol Cares. Well, hello there, golfer. What brings you to my doorstep at this hour? Can I offer some warm tea and cookies to calm your nerves? She didn't say her name was Carol yet, so I don't want to assume. Um, can I offer you some? Okay, think normal, Joe. Think normal. If I was at a door, I would be some. I would do something like. <clears throat> 
Hey, how's it going? Wow, tea and cookies. That's my favorite dessert. It actually is pretty chilly as well, so thank you so much for the offer. Cooked. Cooked. Other hammer. How's your golf game been lately? Awesome, sounds good. Well, I don't mean to brag about my golf game, but I am typically a hole-in-one type of guy. Sometimes I eagle. Well, look at you, Mr. Hole-in-One. That's quite impressive. I can tell you have a real talent for golf. Maybe you should give me some... Hey, yo! I've been really trying, baby. Would you like them with chocolate chips or nuts? I'd be more than happy to help you golf any time that you're free. Now, I do like cookies with nuts. However, chocolate chip is my favorite. I'm cooking. Oh, how kind of you. I'd love to take you up on that offer. Coughing with such a skilled golfer like yourself sounds like a dream come true. Come in, my dear golfer. Let's continue. Oh, yeah, bro. Don't. Maybe we, maybe we don't need to eat this one. Maybe we actually chill with her. Now, this cool right here. That's what I'm talking. Oh, damn, 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 damn. Bro, I know you see my wanted level in the top left. I know you see my wanted... I'm gonna, I'm gonna Fortnite this one out right here. Maybe they just moved in. That's why they don't have furniture. Run? Okay, bet. I'm out of here. Now nah, I gotta go back to grandma's house. I gotta go back to grandma's house. She was the first one on the left. Now nah, grandma's got me nervous, bro. Because I, I, I. <sighs> grandma's got me a little nervous, bro. Ooh, I should come in here and just drop all their clothes off so I have multiple fits to change into. I picture that's what's playing. Oh my god, the cops right there. We got this one. He likes music. We got this one. We got this one. What brings you around these parts, my hyped up comrade? Okay, so he's standing on business. Yo, what's good, bro? I'm new to the city, and I'm actually a producer. I was wondering if you wanted to give my album a new listen. Damn, that's thirsty. <laughs> we got it. We got it. Oh, word? A producer, huh? That's dope, bro. I'm always down to support the hustle. Drop me the link, and I'll definitely give it a listen. No cap. How do I talk to this clown? For real, man? Oh, that's dope. You're cool as heck. Standing on business. Yeah, I'll definitely shoot you that link right now. Young and hip? You're cool as... Oh, yeah, we're good. You know I stay on that real support. Hit me with that link. Come on in. The swipe pad is already open. Bro, I don't care what you called your crib. You're about to get cooked, my friend. I'm a vampire. Joke's on you. Give me that fit. Give me that fit. Give me that fit. Yeah, give me that fit. The whole fit. Where's his pants? Oh, okay, I got him. <laughs> oh, there goes the cop. There goes the cop. There goes the cop. There goes the cop. Cops right there. I'm out of here, bro. I'm literally out of here. I don't know how big this map is. Somebody over here? More houses this way? Oh, we got a lot to... We got a... Oh, bro, they're everywhere. All right, let's go. Door number four. I'm up. Oh, brother. Knocking on my door to ungodly hours. Speak up now or face the wrath of my tin head conspiracy theories. Little swipe. What brings you to my lair of truth? Hey.
hey, I'm really sorry to interrupt you this late at night. However, I was listening to a podcast and came across a really crazy conspiracy theory. Can I explain? Well, 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 ain't the universe conspiring to bring us together? Fine, spill the beans, but I'll have you know I've heard them all. Let's see if you can keep up with my tin. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. 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 I'm, I'm, I'm in the thick of it now. Oh, bro. Why did I do that? I gotta come correct right now. <clears throat> Here I go. Here I go. I believe you and how you're experienced on um, conspiracy theories. However, this podcast is called The Speakeasy, and they were talking about the Mayan calendar. Yeah, that was a plug. Did I not run out of time? I ran I, I ran out of too much time. I, I, I got to do it again. I got to do it again. I know you've heard a lot of conspiracy theories, but I have one that you might have not heard of before. Have you ever heard of the Speakeasy podcast? They were bringing up some really good facts. Oh. Speakeasy, huh? Now that's a new one. Oh! <laughs> we got one. We got one. What kind of facts did they reel in with their sly whispers? He's happy. He's happy. Hold up. Hold up. Lay it on me, preacher. What kind of facts? Oh, shit. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I'm about to cook. I'm about to cook. Did you know that Mark Zuckerberg, Oprah Winfrey, and many other celebrities have been buying million-dollar bunkers? I wonder if something's going to happen. Oh, thank God. I fumbled, and I was like, bro, I need to redo it. I need to redo it. Ah! Here we go. Here we go. Shh, 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 shh. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. They brought up a really good fact on how Mark Zuckerberg and Oprah Winfrey have bought in these $5 billion bunkers. I wonder what's coming. Oh, I don't oh, the know. deep pockets of those elites. Five billion dollar bunkers, you say? If that don't set off the tin head alarms, I don't know what will. We gotta dig deeper, my friend. What could they possibly be preparing for down there? Bro, I don't... They were mentioning the new movie that dropped on Netflix and how there could be a, um... A, um... Uh... What's it called? Yeah, redo for sure. Now, what's it called with the um the 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 the, the cell towers going out? What's that called, y'all? I know it's leave the world the, the the leave the world behind is the movie, but like there was a uh a, a boom, not a blackout. No, it's like the thing that killed all the cell towers. The EMP. Hackers, solar flare? No, no, no. It was a, it was a, um. Why y'all saying 5G? Solar flare. This isn't Vegeta. Okay. Crypt, um. A conspiracy. Oh, come on, y'all. The satellite John. Yeah, he not gonna take the satellite John if I say that. Come on. Um, Kamehameha. Oh, yeah. Y'all throw me a curveball and he's gonna shut the door on me for taking too long um Well, there's a new movie on Netflix and they were saying that it ties into the real world because the world is going to lose all sorts of internet. So they're going down there to prepare. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. 
Oh, now we're cooking with the foil. The plot thickens, my friend. I'm intrigued. Stepped in. Get fucking cooked. I can't wait to fucking body this guy. You took so long. You took way too long, my friend. Dude got a thong on the back of his head. Dude got a thong on the back of his head. I don't even want his fit. I don't even want his fit. His fit disappeared. Oh, I'm out of there. I'm out of there. What is that? That sombrero hat is hard. Oh, yeah, these glasses fit. Okay, now we're going to grandma. Fuck, man. Grandma, uh, grandma's scary though because like she might not with she not fuck she might not fuck with my modern look. I got it. I got it. Wow, I want have food. Well, hello there, my dear. What brings you to my humble abode at this hour? Is there something you need assistance with, perhaps? Hey, I'm so sorry to disrupt you this late in the night. I'm just a little sad because I seem to have lost my my cat, Hobbs. Have you seen him? Have you had a gun? My dearie, I'm so sorry to hear about your lost kitty. I haven't seen Hobbs around, but I'd be more than happy to help you look for him. Let's start by checking around the neighborhood, shall we? Uh, yeah, thank you so much for being so kind. I have been losing a lot of sleep since I've lost Hobbs. He's my favorite cat. Oh, sweetheart, losing a beloved pet can be so heartbreaking. You're you're welcome to come in and take a take a bite out of that neck. <laughs> Peaced. Oh, she got some swaggy glasses. Oh yeah, these are hard. Yeah, these are hard. We're cooking now, y'all. Six out of 31. <laughs> Rest in peace. <laughs> yeah. All right, hold on. Let's go back to um, this neighborhood way over here. Bro, do, do, do they ever like go away? Like anywhere? He's coming across the street. I got a dip. Was he walking towards me? Oh, he's walking. What was that noise? Whoa! 12 seconds on a cooldown for my bat powers? I'm out of there, bro. I'm out of there, bro. Oh, I right clicked. If Steve Aoki was a van. Oh, yeah. Let me get that sombrero. This is hard. This is hard. I feel like hard isn't the point of the game, though, bro. I need to be. I need to be stealthy. Nothing stealthy about a sombrero. It's inviting. Mini fridge backpack. Okay. Steampunk trophy hat. You know what I think is happening? It's like... That's like the theme to this dude. I don't know shit about steampunk. I'm gonna have to... Oh, 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 oh. Get out of here. 
I'm gonna have to get out of here is what I'm gonna have to do. Damn, they're everywhere! Steampunk it is. I think I got the steampunk cooked. Oh, are you kidding me? We're going right here. Oh, I can't fit there? We're going right here. Hurry. Oh, yeah. I know you saw her. I know you saw her. I can't... Look who decided to show up at my doorstep, the fashionably late wannabe hipster? What's the latest trend you're desperately trying to bring back now? I'm pissed. So like, I'm pissed because I'm getting cooked. And I don't simply know how to really rebuttal this. Roast her ass? No, that's not how she's gonna invite me into her crib. All right, let me think. The fashionably late wannabe hipster. It's crazy you call me a wannabe hipster. I'm actually one of the first true hipsters and I was doing this before it was actually cool. As something, you know? I thought I made it clear. I don't have some, like, why can't you take a hint already? Bye, loser. Oh, I'm fucking pissed. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, that cop didn't recognize me. Oh, yeah, she cooked me, y'all. Colorful Momo? Let's go back. I'm him. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> a nudist. We have experienced a nudist. Hey there, groovy traveler. What brings you to my humble abode on this starlit night? Hey, how's it going? I saw the upside down pineapple. I was just wondering if you're just uh, wanting to have some fun. Our You're naked! Let's party! What's the deal? You're naked, let's party, what's the deal? I'm losing I'm losing I'm losing Oh yeah, so, yeah. Uh -huh. Good evening, Father. I was just wondering if you had some time to talk about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise to be God for your desires to discuss the Lord and Savior. I have all the time in the world to share the news. Please come in. Wonderful. I'm so glad to meet another brother in Christ. <laughs> Glory be. It is, see, now this is wrong because Lord forgive me. This is wrong because Lord forgive me. It's time to suck. <laughs> it's time to suck. <laughs> Cooked. Cooked. I will be using that hat. I will be using that hat, but I do want that fit with the glasses. I look like a Mortal Kombat character. This hipster shit gotta go, bro. 
Oh, I'm swaggy. Hold on, what the bucket hat? Nah, this is hard. This is hard. This is hard. Real trendsetters. Remember her? She said a real trendsetter. Watch me cook. Watch me cook. Watch me cook. Oh, great. Another one of your failed experiments showing up unannounced, genius. Regina, I just invented a new bolt. Uh, b uh, <clears throat> she gets me upset, y'all. She gets me so upset. And I just don't know what to say sometimes, bro. Hold on. <clears throat> hey, Regina, don't mean to disturb you, but I just uh, discovered that my multi-billion dollar business has taken off. Did you want to be a partner? <laughs> oh, please. Like I would ever stoop so low as to be partners with someone as pathetic as you. I have much better prosthetics lined up, sweetheart. Keep dreaming. Bro, bro, how, how do you win somebody over like this? How the fuck do you do it? Because you know what I say? Piss off. I say piss off in this situation. And I simply cannot. Uh, Emmy, I know. Help. Ask her for help on fashion. Okay, okay, okay. Well, the reason I asked for help is because I need someone who can style so as good as you. <clears throat> Fuck! She get me pissed! Hold on. Hold on. Well, actually, the reason I needed your assistance is because you have such a great sense of style, and I think that it can really skyrocket my business to the next level. Thoughts? <laughs> Fine, I guess if you're desperate for some taste in class, you could use my experience to salvage business, but don't you think for a second this means we're friends or anything? Awesome, thank you so much for your help. And no, I don't want to get business and pleasure mixed up. This is specifically because you're better than me. Time to die, bitch! Well, at least you have some self-awareness. I suppose I could grace you with my presence and help you elevate your business. Just know that it really it's really because of my impeccable taste and not because you're worth it. Yeah, I know I'm worthless, but I'm I I really want to appreciate you for helping me out since you're the best. <laughs> I know. Well, it's about time someone recognized my greatness. I mean, it's only natural for you to appreciate my talents. I guess I can allow you to appreciate me and my impeccable taste, but remember, if it's a privilege. Well, Regina, I just have to say the pleasure is all mine because you are just a fantastic business partner already. <laughs> Finally, someone who understands my true value. It's clear that you're a smart one, recognizing greatness when you see it. All right, I'll consider it. I'll consider being your... Uh, but don't make me regret it. Regina, I would never do such a thing. You're you're so great and amazing, and I just need all the help I can get because I suck. Why does she like this? Why does she like this? Well, since you seem to fully grasp how incredible I am, and you're willing to uh, put your pussy lips on live, I give you a thousand dollars. You're cooked, bitch. <laughs> Can't sit with us? It's Regina from Mean Girls! How did I not recognize that? Whoa! On Wednesdays, we wear pink. Oh, me, y'all. Let's go. I'm out this. I'm out this. I'm out this. I'm out this. Let me get that hat. I'm out this. I am out this. Damn, mansion's up here. 
Oh, I'm cooking, y'all. I bet you when it gets to like four stars or three stars, they start coming in the valleys. Pause. That's not fetch. <laughs> and that is how Regina George died. Oh, business, business. It's time for business. It's time for business. Do you think they'll notice my bald head? I'm in the game. I'm in the game. I'm in the game. Hey, Shirley Zay, thank you so much, player. You think I should do this? This is like business casual. I'm in the game. I'm in the game. I'm in the game. I'm in the game. Yo, Eli with the 16 months. Appreciate you. What's up, yo? Wait, what is he? What are we looking like? Oh, yeah, we need the hat for sure. This dude thinks he's chill. This dude thinks he's chill. Let's cook. Let's cook. Wow, I want to have food? Hey there, Tech Tycoon. What's the latest absolutely famous news that brings you to my door tonight? Shall we celebrate with a round of virtual high fives? Virtual high fives? Looks like I've found someone of good taste. I have this fantastic new app I've been waiting to share to somebody about. I'm all ears, Tech Trailblazer. Set the app, set the absolutely amazing details. Is it going to revolutionize the work and work party? This calls for a standing ovation. Absolutely, it will. Now, this app delivers so much delicious beverages like Prime to your doorstep. Come on. I oh, he loves Prime! Oh, my pixels. It's like a dream come true. I'm absolutely thirsty for more details. Pause. Oh, you're getting cooked that easy? Yeah, give me that eye patch. Yeah, give me that eye patch. My stock's gonna plummet. My stock's is gonna plummet. Let me get that smartphone. Let me get that hat. Business suit. Oh, bro. I'm out the door, bro. I look like that dude, uh, Nathan something. That, that co comedian show. They just disappear. Yeah, I sucked them. <laughs> like, where do you want them to go? All right, here we go, y'all. Time to cook. Business. Oh, yeah, we're on to something. We're on to something. We are on to something. We're on to something. I got a mask and a thermostat. Hmm. What do you want? You better have a good reason for coming in here or else you regret it. Look, I'm sorry. I know it's late, so I'm going to cut right to the chase. There's a new virus going around, and we have to be careful. I want to make sure that you're safe. Safe. Ha, you think my safety is a priority? I got more important things to worry about than some measly virus, but go ahead and check if you must. Just don't expect any help from me. I understand, and that's why I'm cutting right to the chase. I don't need your help. However, I need your contribution. Are you willing to help me? Oh, shit. I've, I've, yeah, okay. Hold on. Run it back. Okay. Damn, I, I, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Check if you must. Look, I don't need any help from you, and I will cut right to the chase. Have you been in a public crowd recently? I don't want them.
Who do you think you are accusing me of being in a public crowd? I have better things to do than mingle with the common folk. Look, I'm so sorry for assuming you're so intelligent and I can just tell that from the way that you're talking to me. Do you mind if I just check your temperature? <laughs> intelligent, huh? Well, that's a fine one. Way to butter me up. Fine. What did they tell this AI, bro? You are a bad bitch. You will not be told like, damn, these, 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 yeah. I'm cracking the, I, I'm the hacker right now. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Intelligent, huh? Well, that's one way to butter me up. Fine. It will get you off my, or fine. If it will get you off my back, go ahead and check my temperature, but make it quick. I have important matters to attend to. I'm in the game. 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 Look, someone as important as you and as busy as you are, I will waste no time and cut right to the chase. Oh, really? Cut to the chase, you say? Well, I must say, your flattery is quite convincing. So what is all this about then? It's the watch on your left-hand wrist. Well, there's actually a new virus going around that is coming from watch batteries. And I see that you're wearing a watch, so I just was concerned. Oh, that was bad. I was, huh? A virus from watch batteries, you say? Well, I must say, you've piqued my curiosity. Come on in and let's have a closer look at this so-called don't even know what you said. Get cooked. Get cooked. Get cooked. Yeah, you got pieced up. A town down. Yep. Here we go. Where's my like where's my swaggy fit, bro? Is that an apartment? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I don't want to turn into a bat because I don't want to lose this fit. That bro got juked. That sounds like, like I found a shortcut, bro. Oh my god, there's so many cops. I'm cooked. Don't move. I'm out of here. Knock. Wait. Wait. Is that me? <laughs> well, hey, you caught me off guard with that surprise knock. What's up, my science-loving friend? Hey, how's it going? I know that it's a little late, so I'll cut right to the chase. Have you ever heard about delicious diet meals? Ah, uh. oh, can't say I've heard much about them, but hey, I'm... Trying new things, tell me more about it. Oh, so it's not like I've lost entirely. It's just like, nah, bro, you're going down. Okay, okay. Tell me more about it. Well, lucky for you, I have a free test trial for you where it's not going to cost you any money. And it's actually a lot of fun. I was, huh? Free trial and it's fun. Sounds like a win-win. Count me in, my scientific friend. Let's live it. Let's give it a shot. Okay. Um, damn. Okay, what's next? I'm in the game. I'm in the game. I'm in well, the game. Um, I'm in the game. TDB with the gifted. Thank you so much. DJ Chrissy with the 21 months. What's up, player? Mr. Beast. Oh, it's Mr. Beast. Oh my god, y'all are so smart. Okay, hold on, hold on. Free trial and it's fun. Sounds like a win-win. Count me in, my scientific friend. Let's give it a shot. 
sounds great. And I don't know if you'd be interested, but this would be great content if you're a content creator. Are you a content creator? <laughs> Absolutely, my friend. I am indeed a content creator and always on the lookout for sharing new experiences with my... Bro, we need to find out who everybody is and just simply cook. Oh my god, this is so fire. Holy shit. This sounds like it could be... Um, it could make for some awesome content. Let's dive in. Sweet, man. Thank you so much for giving this a shot. It's going to grow your subs to the new top... Of course, man. Thank you so much for giving this a shot. This will grow your sub count to the newest height. Cool. Oh, that's what I like to hear. Let's take my subscriber count to the new heights together. Come on in, my scientific partner. Mr. Beast Breakdance? Oh, I'm going to be Mr. Beast for sure, bro. Get cooked. <laughs> I bet this would have hit a million likes. Yeah, maybe. Get cooked. Get cooked, Mr. Beast. Okay, Mr. Beast. With the... Is that a Honda? He's driving the paws? <laughs> okay. Let's try to assess who this next person is. Oh, Hello, God. Rusty Orange? Is this that one dude? Is this that one dude? It's not the... It's not Larry the Cable Guy. or Is it Larry the Cable Guy? Rusty... Rusty Outrage. Sorry. I saw, I saw an orange hat and then I read orange and... Yeah, I don't know. Uh, well, I'll be deep fried in butter. What in tarnation do you think you're doing knocking at my door at this god godly hour? Speak up or I will plop a vud vessel. He's the number one fan. Howdy, partner. How you doing? Look, I'm going to go ahead and cut right to the chase. Do you like hunting? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, he's cut. Well, ain't that a question for the ages? Hunting, huh? I reckon I done a fair share of it. What's it to you? You a hunter yourself or are you just trying to start something? Man, now, now let me have to tell you, I had caught in this deer down there uh, by the bay yesterday. And I was just wondering if you would want to maybe go hunting together or take some of that venison meat home. Hot dang. That deer's meat got my mouth watering like a hound dog chasing a squirrel. Now I reckon you could hunt to use a hunting buddy, you know? What, partner? I'll take you up on that offer. Let us bag some venison and fill up our bellies real good. Gosh dang it, partner. Sounds like a great deal. America. Woohoo! <laughs> Yeehaw, that's the spirit, partner. America sure knows how to do some good old hunting. Now, come on in. Let's plan our eventually. Get got. 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 I literally said America to him, and he was like, oh, yeah, for sure, bro. This is a fit. This is a fit. Talk nice to me, y'all. Talk nice to me, y'all. I'm on a roll. I'm on... Oh. Hey there, Lumberjack. What a groovy surprise to see what my door brings you to the humble abode this night. Eve Breeze? Come on, y'all. Who is this? This is the nudist again, y'all. Do we know... Like, what, what can we do? What can we do? Because, like, I asked... I asked last time if I could come in, and they said, hell no. They said, hell no. A pool party?
Oh, bro, I think I just got to cook. Worst comes to worst, I could come back around. They're a hippie? How do you know they're a hippie? Just because they're naked? Has to smoke some bond? See what, say you trying to see what's under that rubber ducky. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Kia with the 10 gifted subs. Z, let's go. Let's go. I'm in the game. A hot tub? Oh, yeah, because the the duckies. Because of the duckies. I'm in the game. I'm in the game. Oh, thank you so much for the 10 gifted player. I appreciate you so much. Oh, what a groovy surprise. Oh, it is it is the uh it is a uh, hippie-ish hippie-ish vibes. Eve Breeze, how are you doing? I just, I, uh, uh, I fumbled. It wasn't flowing. It wasn't flowing. It was not flowing. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ask if he's in the players club. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Hold on, hold on. Let me cook. Let me cook. Let me cook. Groovy partner. Like, I just missed, like, meshed, like, two things, bro. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, because if you let the time run out, it doesn't send them. It only sends them when it says it's my response. Okay. What do you, what do you say? What's, like, a hippie, like, term? Like, dude? Should I say dude? Is dude one? Or is it like... Hey, man. Hey, brah. Okay, okay. Hey, man. How's it going? You know, I just got done working at the uh, Lumberjack store. Fuck! Let me try again. Let me try again. Hey, man, how you doing? See, I just got off my shift, and uh, I see that you have a rubber ducky. I was just wondering, you ever been in a hot tub? Sauce. Mm -hmm. Hot tub stories you want to share? Oh, you bet your sweet ass. I got a bunch of hot tub stories I want to share. But do you have the time? Alright. Alright, we're going to have to come back. We're going to have to circle around on that one. We will definitely circle around there. Lights out, lights out. What is this? I don't... I'm gonna go to that corner house. Right? She said, yeah, tell me more. And I was like, well, yeah, I'll tell you. And she's like, oh, I don't have time. The fuck? Look at this, dudes. All right, here we go. Wait, wait, wait. Let's try to... Try to get a peek. Because, like... Oh, the two swords. Two swords? Viking helmet? Oh, yeah, it's time. Maybe he's a LARPer. Maybe, maybe we could LARP. <laughs> Greetings, mighty warrior of the north. Your presence excites me in this humble abode. How my... I, good knight, hath thine seen thy princess lately? <laughs> ah, fire warrior. I had not laid eyes on my princess. 
However, if you seek her whereabouts, I can help you embark on the noble quest. Aye, good sir. I have found thine princess. However, I need a knight to embark with me on thine journey. A noble quest indeed! But before I commit to joining you, tell me, brave warrior, what dangers lie on the path to the princess, and what rewards await us if we succeed? My good sir, nothing but troubles... Oh, shit, hold on, let me cook, let me cook, let me cook, hold on, hold on, y'all, don't look at my face, don't look at my face, hold on, let me cook, let me cook, let me cook. Ah! Aye, my good sir. Rewards will be the princess for you. However, dangers will be nothing too treacherous for us. Cooked. Have you had a gun? Your words inspire me, confidence, valiant warrior. If the rewards include re rescuing the princess, then I shall, shall, I shall gladly join you on this gallant quest. Lead the way and together we shall face any tribulations. For honor! Uh -huh. Indeed, for honor! Please enter the dungeon, brave warrior! <laughs> get cooked! Get cooked! Y'all get cooked! Come here, bro! Y'all get cooked! Oh, yeah, we, we, yeah, we doing something with this series, bro. You will see this on TikTok. You will see this on YouTube. I'm clipping this, bro. This is a this is a video. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get this trophy hat. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What is this? The AK-47? Oh, okay. Hurry, knock. I gotta hurry up and knock. That's it for honor. Oh shit. Well, I must say this is quite the unexpected unexpected intrusion. Pray tell, what could a particular bandit such as yourself be doing at my exquisite abode on this ungodly hour? Right? Shakespeare, he's rich. Talk like a butler. Indeed, sire. I will get right to the point. First and foremost, exquisite abode. I appreciate your presence. Do you have a moment to speak? I suppose I can share a moment for someone as dubious fashion choices. Uh, pr uh, pray enlighten me with the purpose of your visit. Good sir, I am here to explain the business that I am in, which is brand new fancy hats. Are you interested? Fancy hats, you say? Well, I must admit, I have quite the collection of exquisite headwear already. However, do enlighten me about the unique quality of hats. Well, sire, you see, each hat is one of one custom made, and they will never be replicated, so you will be the only one in the world wearing the hat. Cooked. 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 Seasoned to, to perfection. An exclusive hat, you say? How delightful. I do I do appreciate bespoke items that set me apart bro, what? That set me apart from common rabble. Show me what you have, and if they meet my con dis dis discerning standards, perhaps I shall consider indulging Well, good sir, thank you so much. And let me tell you that the hats will be made in the finest of real mink fur. Hmm. Mink fur? How possibly extravagant that is, you say. A remark to fun taste. I must say I'm intrigued. Please show me your finest creation. If it lives up to my impeccable standards, I might just grace it with my presence.
Well, sir, the creation is still being created. However, if I can get your business email, you would be the first person on the list to purchase such exquisite item. I don't got it right now, bro. It's so it's so exclusive. It's not even made, bro. It's so exclusive. It's not even made. You're gonna get cooked. You're gonna get cooked. Time to cook. It's crazy. I always gotta eat them in my chonies. It's crazy. I always gotta eat them in my chonies. Yeah, I'm just stealing bro's whole fit. Low key. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, the crown. Oh, yeah, we're cooking, bro. 14 out of 31. We're about to be halfway. Halfway without getting busted? I love it. Oh, that, that one's difficult. Bro. Here we go. Ch oh, well, isn't it just fabulous to see you, Preston Pumps? His name's Tommy Twizzler. Any ideas who this custer is? You, how kind of you to grace me with your presence. Todd Chrisley? Oh, yeah. I have no clue, bro. You could bite the police, bro. Don't tell me that, bro. I'm not going to bite the police, bro. That sounds like a problem. This is Tommy Hill. 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 Hey, how's it going, Tommy? Look, I just wanted to say first and foremost, is that a new haircut? Because you're looking pretty good. <laughs> well, well, <laughs> if it isn't the ever most observant... Oh, okay, hold on, hold on. Why can't I read right now? If it isn't the ever observant Preston Pumps, I must admit, you do have an eye for detail. Yes, I did get a new cut. Thank you for noticing. I guess some things still managed to brighten my day amidst the darkness. You could definitely say that again. Speaking about darkness, it's kind of late. What do you say we talk about business and get straight to the point? Straight to the point, huh? Well, I so he hasn't given me a thumbs up or a down this whole time. I don't know what to do, man. Straight to the point, huh? Well, I suppose we can discuss some business, but I hope it's more uplifting than our current predicaments. What's on your mind? Look, Tommy, I want to go ahead and let bygones be bygones, and maybe we could start off fresh. Oh. Bygones be bygones, huh? Well, I s must say, Preston, that's quite surprising position, but I'm all about second chances, so let's put the past behind us and see what the future holds. Awesome, Tommy. I'm really glad that we've come to this predicament. That didn't feel right. It's been a bumpy ride, but here we are together, ready to ride the world together. Welcome back, old pal. Let's make something happen. Pause. I'm gonna need that fit, though. Because I'm dressed like a custard. I think his was, like, bugged out or something. I wasn't able to see the ups or downs, but I saw him start smiling. No, the fit went outside! The fit went outside! Swaggy. Way better than his. Oh, there's cops everywhere. What about this house? Oh, that was Regina. Barbie glasses? Damn, I really cooked Regina George, bro. She got bodied, bro. I simply was like, you know, you're just so much smarter and better than me. I was literally, um, Lindsay Lohan's. 
I was literally Lindsay Lohan's in that very moment. I'm in the gang. 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 Jaden, thank you so much for the two months on the prime. Appreciate you for that. Appreciate you. Bro, how am I gonna get anywhere? These cops are everywhere. Oh, they're in the bushes now? Three stars is crazy. I told you at three stars they go in the bushes. That's what we call intuition, y'all. Bro, I need this dude to simply go another direction. I'm going straight to this house. Look at that immaculate garden. They're gonna love, love, love my fit. Wait, is that a, like a security guard outfit right there? Can I wear that and then the cops simply walk past me? Dude, if I wear that cop outfit. Let's just do this. Oh, uh, hipster. Well, well, well. What brings you knocking at my door? This on Homer Bine? Homer Benini? Do you have a permit for selling whatever snake oil you're pending? Oh, God. I don't do well with these types of people. He's giving me nothing to work with, bro. Well, well, well. What brings you knocking at my door at this unholy hour? Do you have a permit for whatever you're selling? Selling beard oil? Hey, Homer, how's it going? I know it's really late, so I'll go ahead and just cut right to the chase. Do you have a beard oil that you really like using? Because I have a permit for selling the... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Hold on. Let me cook again. Hey, Homer, how's it going? I know it's really late, so I'll get right to the point. I do have a permit, and the permit's for the brand new beard oil that I'm selling. Interested? I don't even have a fucking beard. Uh -huh. Not another one of those promising uh, products. I I heard enough stories about people extracting limbs from these so-called miracle oils. No, thank you. I'll stick to my good old-fashioned shaving cream. <sighs> I understand, and I don't blame you, Homer. Um, honestly, I'm just having a really rough day and could really use a friend to talk to. I'm sorry to hear about you having a rough day, but I'm not sure if it's a good idea for me to invite you in. Maybe it would be better if you talk to someone closer to you, like a family member or a neighbor. You know, Homer, that's actually what it's about. It's a family member. They're sick and not doing well. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Right in the jugular. I'm sorry to hear about your sick family member. It's important to have support during difficult times. L and let's, let's pause the game for a second, right? This is a video game. Anything goes. All right. Maybe you could find a support group or reach out to a counselor who can offer guidance and help through this tough situation. Yeah, Homer, you're right. That's a really good idea. I just know that it's so late and I'm just having a really huff, hard time in this very moment. Well, since it's late and you seem to be in need of support, I can let you in for a short while, but remember, safety first. Don't stay too long. Oh, I won't be staying long at all, Homer. I'm not staying long at all. <laughs> Get cooked. No. Oh. Give me that beard. I do not want that fit. This fit's kind of trash, low key. <laughs> Put this shit together. I look like I look like Jimmy Neutron's dad. Hey Jimbo. Hold on. Oh! I'm fresh. I'm fresh, I'm fly, I'm so damn high. 
What if I wear the cop fit? Oh, it's only security outfit. Oh, bro, my hat. Oh, now I'm naked. Okay, cool. We're just gonna leave that there. I'm cooking. Now, this fit is hard. Sometimes I wish there was crouch in this game. Oh, they're everywhere. I'm out of there, bro. I'm out of there, bro. Look at Shorty. We gotta go. We gotta go talk to Shorty. Oh yeah, we're here. We're here. Made it. Made it. <sighs> Jessica overworked. <sighs> what do you want? Hey, Jessica, I'm so sorry to bug you. I know it's annoying because it's so late. Uh, I just wanted to ask, ask you, uh, do you have a phone charger that I could borrow, maybe? Have you had a gun? All right, fine. I do have a charger, but I need it back tomorrow. I don't have time for people who lose their chargers, you know? Yeah, trust me. That is so annoying. I had a friend who stole my charger once, but that's not the case for me. Mine just broke, and it's too late to go to the store right now. Well, lucky for you, I always carry a spare charger. Just promise you won't break it because I don't have the energy to deal with that right now. No, I promise, Jessica, I will not break it. And I will actually bring it back to your house in the morning. Wait, all right, fine. You can borrow my charger, but don't forget to bring it back or you'll have to deal with my wrath. Now go do whatever you need to do and let me get back to my misery. Yeah, no problem at all. I just get once I... Oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. I got choked up. <clears throat> let it redo. Let me redo it. Yeah, I understand, Jessica. No problem. I'll get the charger and I'll be on my way. Uh -huh. Great, thanks for understanding. Come on in and grab the charger, bro. Make it quick. I've got work to ignore. You're a custer. You deserve this. Get body, Jess. Get body, Jess. Escape the bus. She said, Escape the bus. Oh, fuck your line. I'm just hearing my chonies holding her phone. I'd be so cooked if he came in here. This this phone completes the fit, though. I'll tell you that. Right? Right when I get let in, I strip. Down to the chones. The Jason mask? Bro, that is like literally the last thing I should be wearing right now. That like screams like murderer. Dude, what's the deal with your getup? You look like a hipster barista on his day off. Oh man, everybody's cooking my fit, y'all. Everyone's cooking my fit, y'all. Oh my god, Raven. I really do look like a barista hipster. You're so right. Uh, I just had a quick question. Do you mind if I ask you? I don't know. Ugh, fine. What's your burning question? Make it snappy. I don't have all day. Is your refrigerator running? Oh, we'll have a ho! Okay, okay, okay. Riz her up. Okay, bet, 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 bet. All right, bet. She says she's not falling for it either. 
Okay, hold on. That's what Dante... Oh, don't tell me... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. She's pissed, she's pissed, she's pissed. Um, alright, hold on, hold on. Look, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to waste your time like that. But I will say, it's really cool how your hair is matching your t-shirt. Was that planned? <laughs> well, at least you can appreciate good style when you see it. Yeah, I totally planned the hair shirt coordination. Gotta keep it on point, you know? So what's your next burning question? With a name like Raven, you're fly like a bird. I wanted to see if you maybe wanted to grab some dinner sometime, or maybe a cup of coffee. She said it's not bad, y'all, so I cooked. So I cooked. Y'all just not hungry in the chat, and it's not my fault. Hold on, hold on. I guess being compared to a bird isn't so bad. And I gotta say, your pickup game isn't totally terrible. See? Oh, I'm nice. I'm nice. She said, maybe I'll take you up on that coffee offer. But just so you know, I don't do small talk or vanilla lattes. It's got to be something cool, unique, right? No, if you're telling anybody that, it's me, Raven. I am a coffee snob, and I know the best spot in town. <laughs> Y'all, she about to peek me later. Hold on. If you really know the best spot in town, then I'm good. Then I'm down to give it a shot. But don't let me down, hipster coffee snob. Lead the way. Believe me, Raven. It's definitely gonna be worth your while. I got you. I won't let you down. What the hell? Oh. I don't care what that says. Just let me in there. Let me in there and I'm going to take off to my chonies. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm swaggy in this. Call me Miss Thang. Because I got it on me. Call me Miss Thang because I got it on me. Call me Miss Thang, yeah, I'm the homie. I'm in the game. I'm in the game. I'm in the game. Golf clubs? Is that where the front door is? Right here? Businessman. Shit, I think I need my fit back. Smooth black man with the seven months. Yum, appreciate you, player. That haircut. <laughs> What the heck do you want at this odd godly hour? I hope it's not some ridiculous teenage drama. Spit it out already. Charles a boomer. Charles a boomer. So Charles is a boomer. Got it. Hey, Charles. I don't mean to bother you because I know it's super late at night, but I just need some advice from somebody older than me. Do you have a second? I was, huh? Fine, fine. Since you're so desperate for some old geezer wisdom, what's the problem, kid? Well, I just find myself really wanting to talk about the economic standpoint of the world right now. Nobody's really around to talk about it. Oh, yeah. Economic standpoint, huh? Well, I suppose I have a thing or two to say about that. Can't promise agree with you, but go ahead and spill your thoughts, kid. Hmm. Well, you see, there's really so much to say in so little time. I really want to know where you're coming from on sud said subject. I stumbled. I, I don't know if it's going to pick that up. Oh, boy. You sure picked a big topic I'll dive into. All right, let's see if I can sum it up. The economy's a mess. The government's a mess. And don't even get me started on those greedy corporations. It's all about the rich getting richer and the rest of us getting left in the dusk. That's my take on it. What's yours? Wow, Charles, I guess you could call me an old soul because I literally believe everything you said down to the last T. You're so wise. What the hell? Well, I'll be darned. Finally, someone who sees it the way I do. 
You got a good head on your shoulders, kid. I can appreciate this. What do you want to yap about? Uh. Oh, shit. I gotta, I gotta talk about more. You know, Charles, it's great to know that regardless of the age gap, we can still have great similar interests. I made some good food. Are you interested? Old people love food. I was. Huh? Oh, fancy that. You actually managed to pique my interest. Fine, I'll give you a chance to win me over with your cooking. But don't think that means we're best buddies now. Just bring me the food, kid. Get in there. I'll bring the food, all right? I'll bring the food, all right? Hello, wow, wow, wow. Hello, wow, wow. I want that box meal. Yep, this is this is who we are now, y'all. This is who we are now, y'all. This dude look like he makes mil oh 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 hello, 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 hello. Nah, this cut is horrible, bro. Literally, if you get a cut like this, just just go bald. Embrace the bald. I love balds. <sighs> that was close. I was <laughs> huh? Oh yeah, we cooked. Oh yeah, we cooked right there. We cooked right there. Hmm. Well, I would have to say, I really love anime. However, I do love manga a little bit more because it really gets into the details of everything. Oh gosh, I totally understand. Manga is, uh, manga is the treasure trove of beautiful artwork and compelling stories. It's so experience. Do you have a favorite manga series that you would love? I mean, wow, where can I really begin? Manga is such a, a beautiful and large world. I would probably have to say Hunter Hunter if I could pick just one. Damn, how did it know Hunter Hunter like that? Dude, this person is yapping. Interested? Are you crazy? I would love it! Ooh! Kebab! Oh yeah, I cooked, bro. I fucking cooked, bro. Wait, wait, wait. The game's glitching. The game's glitching. <laughs> oh, if I would've lost right there... Oh, if I would have lost right there, I would have lost my mind right there. Oh, hell yeah, bro. Swaggy as ever now. Where the cops at? Where the cop? Where the cop? Right there? Zoom! Oh my god, bro. Oh, it's Santa Claus. N Nick Claus. Okay. Hey, yo, what brings you to my humble abode on this fine evening? Are you in need some of some holiday cheer or just here to witness my epic cosplaying skills? All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. <clears throat> lock in, lock in, lock in. Let me think. Give me a second. What brings you to my humble abode this final evening? I mean, fuck. Hold on.
Holiday cheer? Sounds like my kind of place. Isn't Christmas just the best holiday of the year? I wish it could be Christmas year round. He said, ho, 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 couldn't agree more. Christmas is include indeed the most wonderful time of year. The festive decorations, joyful carols. I'm about to chuck my phone out the fucking window. Who the fuck is texting me like this, brother? The festive decorations, joyful carols, and the spirit of giving truly make it... What? Bro, I can't read now. I lost my merch. Hold on. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I couldn't agree more. Christmas is indeed the most wonderful time of year. The festive decorations, joyful carols, and the spirit of giving truly makes it a magical season. I must admit, I also wouldn't mind celebrating Christmas year round. Ho, 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 indeed. Are you celebrating half Christmas this year? Because I have a wonderful Christmas party planned and I would love to invite you. Half Christmas, you say? That sounds like a jolly good time. I must admit, I'm quite intrigued by your Christmas party. Can you tell me more about it? Well, there's going to be gingerbread houses and cookies and snowflakes. And don't get me started on the Christmas carols. Oh, that sounds absolutely marvelous. You know what's crazy? They're not giving me thumbs up and thumbs downs anymore. I got to just cook. Can I jingle his balls? Uh, mods ban her? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. See ya, Santa. See ya, Santa. I'm wearing like nine fits. I like stacked the fits up. Bro, stop. Oh, yeah, here we go, bro. This is me. Look at me, Santa Claus, bro. If I saw a dude dressed like Santa in the bushes in fucking January. Oh, bro, I'm calling SWAT. I'm not even calling the police. I am calling SWAT. can't see oh i can't see and it almost uh, cost me my life nope all right 10 more y'all we can do this we can beat this game first try come on y'all lock it in what do i have a bag a pink hat, some glasses. Bro, I need the fit. I need the fit, though. I need the fit. Fuck it, we don't got time for that, bro. Uh -oh. oh, great. Oh, it's Karen. Oh, shit. Just what I need, a late night visit from the Christmas court jester. What do you want? Okay, um... Look, Karen, I'm going to cut right to the chase. A beautiful woman like yourself doesn't need any more wasted time already. Are those glasses Gucci? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Who do you think you are waltzing in here with those ridiculous sunglasses thinking you could butter me up? I have no time. <laughs> Were they Prada? Were they Prada? Look at me, y'all. <laughs> Look at me, y'all. My character. I'm out of there. That bit scared the fuck out of me. Oh my god. Hold on, hold on. Damn, why this game... What, what this game? I can't read right now, y'all. Um, uh, Zay, thank you so much for the 100 bits. About to run into a grizzly bear out here. Bro, I need a fit, bro. Nobody's gonna talk to me with this fit on. Oh, 
Oh my god, I'm so cooked. That's the door? Why do I have this bag on, bro? Give me the hair. Give me the hat. That's all I want, bro. Bro, I, sh I should have stuck with the hipster fit, bro. It wasn't that bad. I was just getting cooked. <gasps> there we go. There's my hipster fit. Oh, you know what I need to do? I need to be that security man for the Karen. I'm ready. Was this a taser gun? Oh, yeah, this is the fit, bro. Was that a muffin top? A chef hat. Oh, I come up to a chef hat with a salt shaker. Ooh. We got to take a lap, y'all. There's got to be a house on this street that, like, I haven't approached. Oh, there's a cop right there, bro. This is a fire fit. I got to come back to this. Maybe if I... Oh, yeah. This is a fit. Hurry, hurry. Come on. Oh, my stars and galaxies. Howdy there, cosmic cowpoke. What interstellar brings you to the humble abode on this splendid eve of cosmic wonders? How's it going, Fred? Listen up. I've came here to present you with a question. What is better? A fairy or a pixie? Oh, my dear. Uh, he didn't like that? Oh, bro, he yapping, bro. I, I don't know how to... I don't know about this one, y'all. I don't know about this one. To choose between a fairy and a pixie is as, uh, as unfathomable as the vastness of the cosmos itself. I'm really glad to hear you say that because that was a trick question. I've been trying to find somebody who can fathom the cosmos, and it seems like I've finally found somebody smart enough. Cooked. <laughs> you flatter me with your cosmic accolades. If there's one thing I pride myself on, it's a profound wisdom when it comes to the celestial wonders that adorn our universe. Please, do you share? Your cosmic, uh, 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 cosmic queries, and, and together we shall unravel the mysteries of the cosmos. Can somebody help me, Cosmo? The only Cosmo I know is Wanda's best friend. Um. Um. Oh! Um. Ah. <laughs> uh. Well, speaking about Cosmos, how about Wanda? Am I right? Man, I would love some fairy godparents. Cooked! 
You must be referring to the delightful, whimsical world of the fairly odd parents. Oh, how I too have longed for the enchanting fairy godparents to grant wishes on their... Alas, we must content ourselves with the wonder that magic lies within the hearts of the truly... Well, they say beauty is in the eye of the beholder, but I believe that magic is in the eye of the beholders. Let us live in a world where fairies are amongst all of us. <laughs> oh, what a glorious vision you paint, my cosmic companion, to dwell in a world where... Oh, yeah, you're cooked. Don't care. This is gonna... Okay, I was gonna say. <laughs> I don't care, bro. That was like that was like a level ten difficulty. Oh, with the swaggy Anderson Pack beanie. Well, well, well. If it isn't Mr. Fashion Police himself, what brings you here, shiny pants? Is that coffee in her hand? How's it going, Hazel? Look, I was just here to let you know there's a brand new coffee shop opening down the street. First 50 people who show up get free coffee. Thought you'd be interested. Fuck, I took too long. I took too long. Hey, Hazel, how's it going? Uh, I'm here to tell you about the brand new coffee shop opening up down the street. Maybe you'd want to go sometime. First, uh, first 50 people. Hey Hazel, how's it going? I just came to tell you about the brand new coffee shop that's opening a couple blocks down the road. Maybe you and I could go sometime for a cup of joe. Um, uh -huh. Like I'd be caught dead in a coffee shop with somebody who thinks they're the next Zoolander? Oh fuck! We gotta just go on this one. I was about to get caught. <laughs> Whatever do you want? Can't you see I'm trying to hide from the world in my own misery? Fallout boy. I chime in with the haven't you people ever heard of? I'm closing the goddamn door now. Well, you have, huh? Ah. Uh. Ah, shit, man. I'm so annoyed. I'm back to this dude. I had success with this dude. You said I sold that, but if I would have won that, I would have cooked. Fake as hell. Here we go. Watch me cook. Lumberjack. Well, howdy there, buddy. What brings you knocking on my door at this hour? Michelle Maple? Don't worry, I'm all ears and ready to lend a hand. Now, Michelle, I knew I had come to the right place, sister. Now, there is this beautiful cherry tree that's blocking my view. However, I was wondering if you could help me. I was, huh? A cherry tree, eh? Blocking your view, you say? Well, I reckon I could lend a good hand and give that tree a good old chop. But do you have any lumberjack tools? Lumberjacks like me always come prepared. But do I have any tools handy? Now, Michelle, at the moment, I do not. I wasn't ready to chop down a tree at the very mo this. <laughs> Michelle! My fault, Michelle. Hold up. Now you see, Michelle, at this very moment here in time, I do not have my tools on me. That's why I thought you could maybe give me a lending hand as a, ha a happy neighbor. Well, ain't it a beauty request? I'm always up for lending a hand to a happy neighbor like yourself. Let's head on over to that cherry tree and give it a good old lumberjack treatment. But don't worry. I'll need these... I'll need those tools, but don't you worry. I'll need those tools next time. What the fuck? Okay, hold on. AI glitched. Um. Well, Michelle, that sounds like a swell time. Thank you so much for the help. 
And when we're done with that cherry tree, how about I send you home with a nice slice of shepherd's pie? Oh yeah, cooked. Cooked. I already know she likes shepherd's pie. I'm about to dive into some shepherd's pie right now. Shut the door. Let's get to work. <laughs> Oh, yeah, cooked. 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 I stole the whole fit. I stole the whole fit. Oh, yeah, this is my fit now. Why are they coming up here? I'm out of here. Is this Karen? Oh, okay. Hey there. Oh my god, she thinks I'm the neighbor. Hey there, Michelle. What's the stitch, my Canadian lumberjack neighbor? You caught me off... You just caught me binge-watching The Office? Oh yeah, I'm gonna destroy this one. I'm about to knock this out of the park while sipping my ethically sourced mixed uh, milk almond latte. What's cracking? <clears throat> Are you kidding me? Man, The Office is one of my favorite shows. Isn't Michael Scott just a hoot? <laughs> oh God, tell me about it. Michael Scott is like the ultimate cringe comedy king. It's like he's from another planet, but we can't help to love him, you know? Do you have a favorite episode? Honestly, I have too many favorite episodes, but I will say I love the episode where Kevin spills his famous chili in the beginning. Great theme song, too. What the hell? Oh my god, yes, that scene is pure gold. Poor Kevin and his chili. And the theme song? Iconic. It's like as soon as you hear those first notes, you know, you know it's time to laugh and cringe in equal measure. So good, right? Yeah, honestly, I wish there was another great show like The Office, because honestly, nothing tops it. But I would love to watch The Office with you sometime if you were free. Wow, thanks for the invite. That sounds like an awesome idea. Let's totally make it happen. How about this weekend? I'll bring some popcorn, and we'll have an office marathon. It'll be so chill. Oh, yeah. We didn't even have to get let in. She just, she was just like, make your way. I'm wearing too many things. I wanted avocado, not a vampire. Okay, hold on. I want this. I want that. This is it. Should I wear the beanie? No beanie. No beanie. Puffs, you a hater. Puffs, you a A1 hater. Like, oh my god, every time I look at the chat, you just saying something hater vibes. Like, oh my god, I can't. I literally can't. Okay, y'all. I think I cleared off this street. I literally only have seven more uh, houses to attack. Light work. This is light work. Bro, there's so many damn cops everywhere. How am I going to get into that house? Who saw me? Go, 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 go. Here we go. Here we go. Wow, I want to have food? Oh, the crypto guy. Brian, it's so funny because when I invested in crypto years ago, people were laughing at me. Guess who's laughing now, Brian? What the hell? Ha ha ha, I love it. Who's laughing now? Indeed, we got the last laugh. It's incredible how crypto has soared to do heights. So tell me, which crypto gems did you invest in? Wow. 
What is the most su successful cr uh, crypto? Crypto gem. <gasps> I don't care about low power mode. It always wants to pop up while I'm typing. Oh, okay. Well, Brian, if I'm being quite frank with you, it's a toss-up between Land X Finance and Layer AI. They're skyrocketing right now. Oh, you're into the altcoins. I can dig that. Land X Finance and Layer AI, huh? Interesting choices, my friend. Those have been marketing from some serious ways in the market lately. But remember, the crypto space is wild and unpredictable. So buckle up and enjoy the ride. Do you follow any crypto influencers for tips? You know, Brian, I've actually learned everything I know about crypto on my own research. However, you look really smart. Could you share some knowledge? I'm in the game. I'm in the game. I'm in the game. Live Marie <laughs> with the 12 months. Appreciate you, player. Hey, I appreciate the compliment, my friend. I'm always up for sharing some crypto knowledge. Here's a little nugget for you. Pause. He just shit himself. Diversi diverse, <clears throat> diversification is key in the world of crypto. Spread your investments across different coins and projects to minimize risk. And remember, always do your due diligence before dividing into any investment knowledge is power oh man knowledge is knowledge <clears throat> yeah we just gotta let this one bleed out we gotta let this one bleed out and now i can restart oh man brian knowledge is power indeed thanks for the tip that's definitely gonna help me in the long run friend Yeah, we're going to dive deeper into crypto, all right. Let me in. I got four stars, bro. There's cops everywhere. <laughs> My portfolio's bleeding, too! Hooked. I look like I'm straight out of Men in Black. I don't give a damn about that. Uh, yeah. Oh, 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 I'm cooked. I'm not gonna hit shift, I'm gonna lose all my fits. Yeah, they got juked. Broken ankles. Sorry, cops. Not today. Not today, cops. Oh, I need to wear this fit and make my way over to Karen's house. I'm going to make my way over to Karen's house. Look at how many cops there are, and that's the only way out of this backyard right here. I'm out of here, bro. Running like I gotta find the nearest toilet. There's two houses right here for real? I thought I just bodied those. Oh, I got rejected by... <gasps> Graduation. Gray sweater button down and a bike helmet. Who is that for? Oh, I gotta go back to Fallout Boy. Fallout Boy might like this outfit. Nah, hell no. That that is not it. That is not the fit, bro.
There's no more. That Santa fit has to go. Who who's here? Woodrow Chops. Ah, neighbor Brian Bitcoin. What on earth has you knocking at my dojo at this ungodly hour? I pray what brings you here. Oh, pray tell what brings you here, my friend. Man, Woodrow, I have had a revelation. Do you mind if I share to you what has happened to me on my earth? Our earth? I believe she huh? said, yeah. Oh, Brian Bitcoin, you've piqued my interest. Please tell me the revelation that has transpired on your... Well... I mean, Woodrow, it all started when I had consumed DMT. I mean, I can't go back to looking at life the same. Do you agree? Ah, uh, well. The mythical realm of DNT, a few dare to tread. While I must admire your bravery, I must admit I have my doubts about altering one's perceptions of uh, ex existence. But do go on, Brian Bitcoin, and enlighten me further. Well. I respect your doubts about altering perceptions. However, an out-of-body experience is the reason that has brought me to this moment at your doorstep today. Coming inside my humble abode and we will share the wisdom you have, um, your out-of-body excursion. We're going to share some tea. Oh, yeah, we're sharing tea, all right. What is that haircut? Whoa. You're dying for that hair, bro. You're dying for that haircut. Look at bro, and his fit went up against the wall, bro. Look at this pony. Yeah, we need that. Oh yeah. Cooked. Cooked. What is happening? Cooked. Whoa! Bam, 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 bam. Now we're gonna go to Fallout Boy. If I could get there, bro. There's this is the worst spot to be, bro. If someone cuts that corner, it's GG's. Don't care. Fallout Boy. Hey, uh, what do you want now? Another message of fake smiles and superficial trends you cannot. What's that one song by Fallout Boy? I just came here to say, I'll be your number one with a bullet. A loaded gun complex, cock it and pull it. Mm -hmm. Wow, I wanna have fun? What do you want? What do you want, Hazel Rosewell? What can I do to woo you? Golly, man. Books. Well, Hazel, I do have to say thank you for noticing my new sense of fashion. I'm trying something new for once, so it's good to know that it paid off a little bit. Wrap it up there. Test it. 
<laughs> she took the bait. Whoa, hold up. You're actually thanking me? How did she know I'm Joe? And she called me average. I didn't think you had it in you, average Joe. But hey, now that you're all dressed up, you must have some grand plans tonight. Spill the beans. What's the occasion? Well, if I'm being quite honest, I just actually won two tickets to go see Tame Impala tonight. But the only problem is I don't have anybody to go with. Come on. Talk nice. Talk nice. Talk nice. Talk nice. <laughs> she said, well, well, well. Looks like Average Joe is about to elevate his average life. Winning tickets to Tame Impala? That's impressive. You know what? I might have to crash your party tonight, Joe. I'm a solo act too. And who better to enjoy some groovy tunes with than yours truly? Let's rock and roll, my friend. What's the Tame Impala's guy's name? His name is Anthony something. Tame Impala singer. Or just, it's one dude. It's not one dude. I thought it was one dude. Kevin Parker? That's not right. Is it Kevin Parker? What? No, I thought... I do have to warn you, though, when Kevin Parker plays, it feels like we're only going backwards. I might have to lose my cool. Ah, whoa. She said, well, I've got news for you, Average Joe. I've seen you in action before, and trust me, losing your cool is your default state. She knows me too well. Get that ass clap. Bodied. Now that's not the fit. This is the fit. This is the fit, and then we gotta go to the neighbor. Good, 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 good. We literally only have four more houses to hit, bro. Oh, hello. Uh, what do you want? Can't you see I'm drowning in my eternal abyss? All right, what do we do here? Do we wallow in sad? Yeah, misery loves company. Misery, company, combustion. Now, um, hmm. Damn. Tell her you got a bottle of Tangeray. Oh, yeah, that's the last time I look at the chat. Someone said, sing Papa Roach. Fall out Roy. Hey, Roy, I know it's been a rough couple of months lately. I just wanted to see if you had a couple of minutes just to talk. It might help things. That's okay. I, I don't expect much. I know you've been going through a lot. I just want to maybe help out in any way if that's even possible. It's like up, down. It's like up, down with it. Hello? Help? How can you help anyone in a world being so... Wait. So devoid of 
hope and meaning but whatever spill your thoughts maybe it'll distract me from my impending doom oh god how do we do this Uh, hold on. Hey, Joe! Okay. Let me think. With a world like this, I'm still trying to find the meaning. I just figure maybe if we spend some time together, we could figure it out and help each other. Oh, 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 get cooked, Fallout Roy. Get cooked, Fallout Roy. Maybe we can find solace in our shared misery. Yeah, you're actually right. I doubt it, but it is worth a shot. Oh, ho. So where do we begin? In that doorway, let me in. Oh, fuck. Okay, right, worth a shot, but let's not get our hopes up too high. I don't want to be even more disappointment when we realize that this futile attempt to find meaning was just another pathetic failure so where do we begin honestly i don't really know where to begin in a world like this it's so difficult it's it sucks but maybe if we hang out no, 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 no. Scrap that, scrap that, scrap that. It was good start, but then, like, I'm not I'm not just saying, like, let's hang out. Okay, hold on, hold on. Ouch, I just ripped these shits out my ear. Honestly, in a meaningless life like this, it's going to be really hard. Maybe we can go for a skate and take some baby steps. Whoa! Get that ass clapped. Not yet. Skateboarding, as if that's gonna make a difference, but fine. If that's how you want to waste our time, let's go. Just don't expect any miracles. Yeah, you're right. I don't expect much, but worth a try. Skate park sounds like a good start. Don't worry, I don't expect any effort from you. Just company. I'm gonna scream. Let me in that door now. I don't expect that from you, Roy. Okay, let's go to the skate park. Oh yeah, you're done. You are done. You were... Why are you even mad at this point? You should just literally, like, be thankful for what I'm doing. You should literally be thankful at this point. Okay, y'all. Three more. There's one right there.
That's Karen, right? We're going to Karen's house? Oh, fuck my fucking life. Hello? Uh, excuse me, but who gave you permission to knock on my door at this ungodly hour? I demand an explanation. Look, I don't mean to bother you, and I'll be on my way very quickly. I just thought that you should know. Your roof has a hole in it. <laughs> That's preposterous. I just had it inspected last month. Are you sure you're not mistaken? Yeah, I'm positive. I don't even want to waste any more of your time. I know you're a very busy woman. However, I just thought that you should know there's a big hole in your roof. <laughs> okay, we're cooking. We're cooking. She said, well, if there is really a hole in my roof, I suppose I should take a look. But don't think for any second that I'm happy about this inconvenience. I don't expect you to be happy. I would be annoyed as well. It's pretty frustrating, especially since you just had your house inspected last month. It's like, can't they do their job? You know what? You might have a point. Those inspectors better not have missed anything. Fine. I'll let you in to show me this hole. Oh, I'm going to find the hole. All right. Get bodied. Yeah, get bodied. Do you do you know who I am? Yeah, you're me. Or I'm you. Or something. Something like that. Three more. 29, 30. Or is it two more? Sometimes numbers like this don't make sense. Like, like, I know we're going to 31, but like, you know what I mean? Okay, hold on, hold on. Look at my fit just out here in the cold. Never need that one again. I'm Karen, and I'm going to get the job done. Bro. Okay, Mr. Beast house. Oh, am I stuck? You guys, I just got... Oh, you can jump? How long have you been able to jump? Okay, we gotta go to that second house right there. Oh, damn, what does she want? How about this? This is the fit. This is the fit. Hey there, groovy soul. What brings you to my humble abode on this starry night? Spread peace and love, man. Peace, love, and rock and roll. Love it. Anyways, just wanted to stop by and say hi to another groovy soul. I literally repeated everything she said. Uh -huh. Boom. 
free spirit. It's another pleasure to meet another groovy soul. How's the universe treating you today? Nothing but peace and love on this fine starry afternoon. Might I ask how your night's been going? Yep. Oh, my cosmic journey has been truly blissful, my friend. I've been dancing with the moonlight, basking in the gentle breeze. Yeah, we see the breeze, all right. And just embracing the beauty of the universe. How about you? Any gnarly adventures lately? Man, oh man, let me tell you about this one time I went to Joshua Tree and it was a full moon. Talk about an experience. Oh man, that sounds like an absolute transcendental experience. Joshua Tree under a full moon is pure magic. I bet you were connected with the energy and desert and felt one with the universe. Keep taking those cosmos adventures, my friend. Hey, same to you, groovy thing. Do you want me to let you know next time I'm headed out to Joshua Tree? Maybe you'd want to come along. Kaboom! Wow, man, that's such a kind offer. I'd absolutely be stoked to join you on a journey to Joshua Tree. Just let me know when you're planning. Oh, yeah, clap, clap, city. Mm, clap, clap, city. I only gotta get one more. I only gotta get one more. I only gotta get one more. And it's right there. Only gotta get one more and it's right there and I'm running straight for it. I'm about to slay. I'm about to slay. Gask mask. Is this house right here? I was, huh? Ah, I see you come to join my league of extraordinary enthusiasts. <laughs> Step right in, my unwitting accomplice, as we embark on our glorious journey to conquer the world with our unper unparalleled brilliance. Pinky brains. Pinky and the brain. They're trying to take over the world. What? What did they always say? What did they always say? What do you want to do today, Pinky? Try to take over the world. Something dumb like that. Uh, I forget how. Look, Pinky, I just wanted to say you're one of the smartest people in the entire world, and I feel like if we join forces, we could conquer the world. Oh, how delightful to be recognized for my superior intellect. I must admit your flattery has piqued my interest. Let us discuss this further and see brilliance. Pray, do you... Do tell me your grand plan for world domination. Well, truly, Pinky, I have a few ideas. However, I think you're the true mastermind, so I would love to hear what you think and join forces with you and help you on what you need. Run it. Run it. Oh, my God. Oh, your offer to assist me in my uh, nefarious pursuits pleases me greatly. I have been tinkering with a mind control device that once implemented will allow me to bend the world to my will. With your help, we can bring chaos to, we can bring chaos and subjugation, hello, to all. Do you possess any technical expertise, my newfound accomplice? Well, Pinky, I don't want to toot my own horn, but I will say I am a A-plus helper. Anything you need, I guarantee I can help you with. 
Marvelous. Your enthusiasm is contagious, my brilliant assistant. I shall trust you with a glimpse into my diabolical plans. Step inside. Let us discuss this intricate details of a grass conquest. Together, we will win the game. Together, we will win the game. That's what he said. <laughs> Bro, oh, I think we just Mario. won. We did it! We did it! Whoa! Whoa! Let's go, y'all! Let's go, y'all! <laughs> Live Maria with the 12 months rhythm with the 12 months. That's a year. That's a year. You've cleared the neighborhood. Congratulations on completing the early suck up access. Join our official Discord to stay up to date on news. Well, I don't have, I don't use Discord like that, but you know, I had a fantastic time playing this game and I will run around in my chonies. I'm going to quit the desktop. <laughs>